Hey guys, my name is Mitchell White, and this is my 2008 Dodge Ram 2500, and this is my episode of The Builder. Uh, I'm in it just to rewrite history, cause I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics ain't used to. Victorious. I bought this truck in October of last year, so I've had it about nine months now. When I bought the truck, it had ranch hand bumpers on it, front and rear, and the previous owner had put a set of 35 inch mud grapplers on it that were mounted on 18 by nine, negative 12, red dirt road thunder wheels. And besides the deletes on the truck, that was pretty much the only modification that he'd done to it. So it was running 35s on stock suspension, and it had the big bumper in the front of it, which brought the front end down a little bit too. So what that had led to was the, the fender liners being tore up and the bottoms of the fenders on the front fenders being just destroyed. They looked like crumpled up tin cans. So what I ended up doing was uh, stripping the body down, pulling the, the box off of it and the doors off of it and um, just doing a complete, pretty much from the frame up restoration on the truck. I blasted and painted the bottom of the box and the bottom of the cab and the frame, everything from there down with uh, three coats of epoxy primer and epoxy paint over the top of that. Um, I used all PPG products throughout the build and uh, then had to do some custom body work on those fenders like I mentioned because they had been pretty screwed up. I ended up having them sectioned and moved back two inches so I gained two inches of clearance on them. Basically, it's like how a lot of the guys do a NorCal mod. It's just a little bit more involved version of that. And I think it leads to a little bit cleaner result. Um, so I did that. I put a steel cowl hood on it and I converted the front end over to a sport front end. So I put a sport grill in it and a poly sport front bumper. I also put a custom roll pan in the rear of it. Uh, usually you buy the roll pans and they've always got the cutout in it for the uh, spare tire. Uh, crank to go through and lower the spare tire, but I took that off because you can't run the size spare that I have on the truck under there anyways. So I filled that in with a patch panel and uh, to give that rear roll pan a little bit smoother look. I also put a Hellbent steel leveling kit in the front of it with a ProTune suspension drop bracket uh, to make sure that all the geometry was correct up front and everything tracked straight down the road. And then with that, I was able to run a set of Moto Metal MO970s in 20 by 12, negative 44 offset. I've got those wrapped in a set of 305, 55, 20 Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. Um, I love the fitment on those. It's just a little bit of stretch. It's not too much. Um, it gives you just a little bit more than a straight up and down sidewall as far as stretch goes, but it's not so much that it's unsafe or looks silly. And um, with putting the Hellbent Steel Leveling Kit in it, instead of just putting a two and a half inch kit, I put three in the front of it. So I needed to bring the, the, the rear end up just a little bit to make it sit level. So I've got Firestone Ride Right bags in the rear of it. And also on the rear suspension, I've got a set of traction bars that I fabricated myself. Um, I drew the, 
the bracketry up for them in SolidWorks and I had a local shop punch them out and then I welded them onto the axle, axle tubes and also the frame. And then for lighting I decided to go all LED. So everything from the taillights to the headlights to the glove box light is LED now. Um, I've got the smoked lens headlights with fiber optic LED bars in the bottom of them um, for a nice clean look when the running lights are on. And I've got LED switchback turn signals up front as well as LED fog lights with smoked uh, housings. I've got fourth gen mirrors on it with the turn signals in them and those lenses are smoked as well as the cab. And in the rear I've got smoked taillights with the fiber optic bars and um, larger LED reverse lights. Uh, as far as exterior modifications, that's probably about it. Um, I did a bunch of maintenance while I had everything apart, new ball joints and hubs and everything to get it ready for the big offset wheels. As far as that goes, I think that pretty much covers the major modifications to the truck. Why trucks? That's probably the question I get asked the most by pretty much everyone. And um, I'll say you can live in your house, but you can't drive it to work. You can't take your house out and go racing. You can't take that vacation that you went on and drive it around town every day. Um, I think that there's just something really to say about putting all the time and effort into something and having a piece that's actually tangible when you're done with it, that you can get in, you can you can wash up on the weekend, you can drive around and, and show off. That's the biggest part for me, is having something that you can have with you all the time. Who helps me with my customization? Absolutely my dad. Um, he's, he's been a real guiding hand through the whole process of every vehicle that I've owned that I've modified, um, helping me out, spending long nights in the garage and giving me pointers and tips and, and tricks. It's been, he's been a huge help for me. My friends and family are actually really supportive of it. Um, pretty much all my friends that I hang out with, they all drive modified trucks, everything from uh, Power Strokes to Duramaxes, older Cummins trucks, newer Cummins trucks. Um, pretty much everybody that I hang out with drives a modified truck in some fashion. Um, so my friends are super, super uh, uh, supportive of the build, coming and helping out. Some of them working late nights in the shop with me, uh, which has really been a huge help and also uh, my family supportive of me. Like I said, my dad, he's been the biggest supporter throughout the whole thing. Um, and uh, I just, I can't say enough of how much it helps out when everybody around you is supportive of the passion because it makes it way, way easier to stay motivated through a build. What got me into building? Well, there's, there's a lot of things that really had to play in that, but I just, I grew up around it. Uh, my grandpa had a body shop. Uh, my dad works with heavy trucks. Uh, I work with heavy trucks. Uh, so I pretty much get paid to play with trucks so that I can pay to play with trucks. What do I enjoy most about building? Probably that feeling right when it's coming together, right before, right before you got the finishing touches on it, but when it's starting to really take shape and your vision's starting to actually come together. That's, I think, the most exciting part for me. If somebody says that, you know, my build is silly or if somebody tells you that your build is silly or it's uh it's not practical or you ruin that truck or the wheels stick out too far or why would you do something like that to a truck um, i would tell them uh, make a payment on the truck and then you can tell me how to build it because i mean until they're making payments on the truck and working on it with you or something like that i mean they don't nobody else has any real bearing on what happens with your build because it's your build I would say that with my background, as far as uh, my family and where I'd come from, it was almost expected that I would have some sort of enthusiasm for uh, trucks or cars or uh, building just motorsports of some kind. Um, with my grandpa being, you know, having the body background and uh, having, you know, race cars and uh, big trucks and, you know, my, my dad and my uncle, they both had uh, lifted trucks growing up because that, uh, that was what was big when they were younger. Um, that was what I grew up with and I just, you know, just had that instilled at me in me from a young age and uh, I just took that and, and ran with it because it just made sense. Uh, not at this time, I don't have any sponsors. Um, I'd love to get sponsored by uh, pretty much anybody who's willing to have me rep their brand. So if that's you, 
get at me. I'd like to say thanks to uh, all my friends who supported me through the build. Um, you guys know who you are. I'd especially like to thank my dad um, for giving me a place to work on the truck and uh, a lot of the expertise to help with it. I think that about sums it up. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching my episode of The Builder and I look forward to seeing you guys at meets. Uh. I'm in it just to rewrite history Cause I'm in the mood to Label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school This ain't for the radio Can't find this on YouTube This the type of killing that these critics ain't used to Victoria